I'm double boarded, and so I treat all these diseases of the brain uh, pretty equally. Uh, so I think that they're all brain diseases without stigma, and I try to work with um, with patients uh, from that starting point. I do lots of research, and so almost um, every patient for me is a new uh, way to learn about uh, the illness and how to get better. The disease that I treat the most right now is uh, depression, um, either acute depression or bipolar depression. and. Um, we use a variety of different brain stimulation techniques uh, to treat either acute or chronic. Uh, so my, my major area of expertise is <coughs> really looking at all the brain stimulation techniques and then with each patient trying to figure out uh, what's right for them in terms of their level of depression and then marrying the patient with the technique uh, at the, in, a, in an algorithm. And if that doesn't work, then progressively moving up the the chain to uh, a little bit more invasive technologies. In depression, we're starting to tr treat it kind of like we do cancer, where we do cancer staging. And so if you have a real easy to treat cancer, you get, you get a certain type of treatment. But if your cancer is much more aggressive, uh, we are more aggressive with our technologies. And so that's kind of happening right now with the brain stimulation techniques uh, in the area of treating acute uh, depression. I um, have also done research and I treat clinically patients with obsessive compulsive disorder or Tourette's uh, and um, uh, have an interest in both PTSD and traumatic brain injury. In the brain stimulation laboratory and division where we are and the clinical service of that is called the, the brain stimulation service, uh, we have uh, arguably the best collection of technologies and doctors in the world. And um, I don't say best in the world without really thinking critically, but we do have very good doctors who are carrying out um, state-of-the-art electroconvulsive therapy with new forms of ECT that are less invasive. We uh, started uh, the use of transcranial magnetic stimulation for the treatment of depression, which is now FDA approved. And we have uh, eight different stimulators across the uh, campus. Uh, we're also using other technologies and so I think, you know, why would you come to MUSC is because um, uh, we're the experts with these technologies and that's what we do and we do it very well. What have we done to change what's possible? So when I started uh, working at MUSC 17 years ago for the treatment of depression, we had medications and ever more medications or old school ECT, and those are our only options. And so that was what was possible. And now what we've done through working here, and admittedly it's also work around the world, but we started it here, we have new possibilities. We have transcranial magnetic stimulation, which is a, a non-invasive way of sitting in a chair and getting a part of your brain stimulated. It uh, requires no IV, no anesthesia, no cognitive side effects. That's absolutely changed what's possible with the treatment of depression. We also started thing called vagus nerve stimulation for chronic uh, treatment resistant depression. So those are two FDA approved treatments that we started. So uh, we've made a big impact in terms of changing what's possible in the treatment of depression.